you guys heard from Trent yet? No, I'm not sure I really want to. We gotta make sure he doesn't go off on some poor freshman because the kid won't give him his lunch money. Yeah, you know what? I think he's after a little more than a freak grilled cheese. And when we know what that is, maybe we can deal. But till then, we keep an eye on him. <laughs> Watch me all you want. It won't make a difference. Trent Fernandez, please report to the principal's office. Trent Fernandez. Trent. I've called you here because there's been some concerns among your teachers that recently you've been, well, preoccupied. Preoccupied? Is that what they're calling it? Your grades have been slipping. Your behavior is erratic, not to mention your skin tone. I'm fine. There's nothing you need to worry about. I understand high school can be difficult. There's a sense of powerlessness that can sometimes overwhelm you. I don't feel powerless. Believe me. OK. Let's talk friends. Is there a particular group you've been spending time with? No, I like to keep to myself. How about a team? Well, I'm sure there's one that would just love to have an athletic young man such as yourself join. You ever think about that? It's funny you should mention that. I was asked to join one just recently. And? They were losers. And I really don't see myself on a losing team. Now, you can understand that, right? <laughs> Good for three! Hey, did you guys hear we're supposed to get a new teacher today? Yeah. Any guesses? Well, I heard from a very reliable source that it's this 80-year-old woman who used to teach kindergarten in Ohio. Really? Good morning, class. I would like you to meet your new teacher, Dr. Anton Mercer. Huh? Good morning, class. Hey, she looks pretty good for 80. <laughs> oh, I, I thought it was funny. Dr. Mercer has graciously agreed to take over until your teacher gets back on his feet. I would like you to treat him with the same respect that you would treat Dr. Oliver. Thank you. Well, let me, uh, let me start by saying how honored I am to be here. What I'm handing out to you now are permission slips. These are for your parents to sign. We'll be going on a field trip tomorrow to a museum. I trust you will all be able to make it. Anton Mercer teaching other people's children? He doesn't even like his own, from what I can tell. Yeah, I wonder whose brilliant idea this whole thing was. <laughs> Gotta be Randall's. Did you see them together? It's like they're old pals. Hey. No matter how bad we've got it, there's always someone that's got it worse. I gotta go. I don't have time for this fight. But I want to talk to you later, understood? Hmm. What are you guys doing now? Soccer. Computer club. You? I promised Dr. I would help him inventory some stuff in the lab. Plus, he'd probably want to know who's teaching this class. Yeah, I wonder what he'd have to say about it. Hmm. See ya. See ya. Later. That's great! You're kidding, right? No. I know you think Anton is a little strange. Yeah, and Justin Timberlake's a little cute. All right, he's a lot strange, but he's brilliant. He taught me a lot of what I know. He'll be great. If you say so. He really is an amazing person, once you get to know him. Hey, where does this go? Oh, you better give me that. What is it? Just a bone. Yeah, but why is it so important? It needs to be kept safely in my hands. Let's just put it away. Whatever you say. All right, come along now. We don't want to keep our prehistoric friends waiting. What's the matter? The thing just gives me a creepy vibe. It's like it moved. You know dinosaurs are extinct, right? OK, I see your point. Stop staring. And just ahead here is a Triceratops from the Cretaceous period. Strictly herbivores, hunted by the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Gotta love the T-Rex. <laughs> Whatever, bro. Huh? Hey, where are you going? Uh, to the bathroom? Oh, great, me too, because my lip gloss is totally wearing off. Oh, Cassidy, just stay here, okay? You're just gonna get us both in trouble? Whatever, I'm going to the little girl's room, and you can do whatever you want. Miss 
Cornell, come join us. We wouldn't want you to miss any of the exciting artifacts. But what about? Come along now. Yeah, is it not found? But I'm fine. Are we leaving? Yeah, we're leaving. Great, let's go. Something's not right. Hey, Kira. How come you're not staying with the guys? What, we have to do everything together? Well, no. But you usually do, don't you? Not anymore. Look, Haley, I don't mean to be rude, but I need to get this done for Dr. Mercer's class. <sighs> I'll never get used to the sound of that. Dr. Mercer's class? Hey, he's a really good teacher, and we're going to learn a lot from him. OK, whatever you say, Kira. <sighs> hey, you want to go to a movie tonight? No. You know, when someone doesn't want to hang out with people, they usually come up with some sort of excuse. Look, I just don't feel like spending any more time with you guys than I really have to. Okay? I have to go. I have something to do. What's up with her? <laughs> Dr. O, are you there? It's Kira. Yeah? What's up, Kira? I was out running just now, and I think I saw something by the edge of the old forest by the lake. It might be a dinosaur egg. Could you check it out for me? I gotta get home. I'm on my way. Great. Thanks. find anything out here. Are you sure you saw something? Oh, wow. I must have been wrong. Thanks for checking it out, Dr. O. No problem. <laughs> so you think Kira's been acting kind of strange? We just don't know what's wrong with her. I mean, I didn't say anything to make her mad. Are you sure? Sometimes you say things you don't think is going to get people angry and things end up getting thrown at you. Dude, I promise I didn't say anything. Just asking. All right, you two. I think we may have a bigger problem than that. This box contained the final bone to a creature that was created by Mercer and me years ago. What kind of creature? Fossil door. We were trying to create a dinosaur at one time that had the power of mind control. We scrapped it when it got out of hand. Great. As long as it had the main support bone, it could never come to life. And that's what was in that box? Yes. So who do you think took it? If it wasn't you two, and if it wasn't me or Haley, that seriously cuts down the suspects. Kira? 
I have returned, as you commanded. Good girl. Did you bring it? Yes. stab and say that's your fossil monster? Unfortunately, it is. Anywhere from Kira? Nothing, but I've been trying. Thank you, guys. Where could she have come in contact with this thing? The museum. We went on a field trip with Dr. Mercer. Yeah, and she disappeared for a while. When she came back, that's when she started acting all weird. Haley, you go to the museum and look for Kira. We'll try to hold this thing off. On my way. Better take the raptors. Don't have to convince me. Ready, ready. Them bones! You are not going anywhere. Trip towards. You guys go on. I'll deal with cell tracks. Okay. Yeah. student locked inside? That's impossible. I've checked the building thoroughly. Can't you look just one more time? Well, I suppose I could. I said that thing. Are you okay to get up? Yeah, I'm fine. Should I call a doctor? Uh, no. No, I just, I need to get home. I can't believe I was responsible for that thing coming alive. It wasn't your fault. In your civilian form, you couldn't stop it from controlling your mind. Luckily, the guy's ranger pals will protect them. I'm going over there. You sure? Nobody messes with my mind and gets away with it. Fire lasers! 
His problem is. Huh? Hang on, guys. Kira, aim for the spot where you put the missing bone. That's where he's most vulnerable. You got it. Locked on. Toretto drill. So glad you're back to normal, Kira. You were pretty scary there for a while. I'm so sorry I was mean to you guys. Don't worry about it, seriously. Yeah, I mean, we're kind of used to it. See? That would be one of those things you say from time to time. All right. Sorry. I'm just glad everything worked out. Kind of weird, though. What's that? Well, Anton Mercer. This thing was stored in his museum. Why? Scheduled Power Rangers or 